For this video, subukan natin gumawa ng siopaw asado. For the dough, I started by mixing 1 cup of warm water. Yung hindi masyadong mainit. And then about 2 teaspoons of yeast. And then 1 tablespoon of sugar. Gumamit ako ng instant yeast. So hindi na kailangan siyang i-reactivate. Meaning pwede na agad i-mix yung dry ingredients. Here I am adding 2 and a half cups of flour. So plain flour lang din yung meron ako. Then 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Then 2 tablespoons of sugar. Tapos just a pinch of salt to enhance the flavors. Kala mo talaga yun, no? Pero kasi sabi yun sa mga napapanood ko. <laughs> Tapos halo ako ng halo, naalala ko, kailangan ko pala lagyan ng 2 tablespoons of oil. So, lagyan natin. At sabi nga nila, better late than never, ba? <laughs> I-transfer natin ang dough sa isang flat surface at budbura ng flour. Pero medyo na-excite ako magbudbod kaya medyo na parami pero buti na lang, sakto lang yung kinalabasan. Tapos sunod ay mamasahin na ang dough for about 7 minutes. Medyo nakakapagod siya guys so kung itatry nyo ito at mapagod kayo, pwedeng magpahinga lang basta wag susuko. Kaya yan. So let the dough rise for at least one hour and habang naghihintay is ilutuin muna natin yung filling. So mag na tayo ng 2 tablespoon of garlic and then 1 medium size ng onion na finely chopped. Nakapag translucent na ay halo na natin ng ating chicken breast sliced by the way. And syempre, automatic meron tayong salt and pepper. I put very little water bago ko siya nilagyan ng 4 tablespoons of soy sauce and then 3 tablespoons of sugar. Hindi ko na i-video pero hinaluan ko ng 2 tablespoons of cornstarch na diluted sa 1 fourth cup water. Kaya ito na kinalabasan. And adjust na lang ng spices according sa taste. Ito na siya after kung manually ishred. So effort pala to guys. Grabe. At this point, nag na ang ating dough ideally. So, pwede na ulit tayo mag-exercise. I mean, magmasa. And then, after magmasa, hatiin na natin siya sa desired size. So, let the dough rest again for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, pwede na natin silang i-flatten. So, 
Once flat na yung dough, pwede nang lagyan ng filling and then wrap. Nilagyan ko pala ng cheese on top um, to make it more special. Nilagay sila isa-isa sa greasing paper para maiwasan silang dumikit. Next stage is proofing for which we allow the dough to rest and rise the final time bago siya steam. So steam natin sila for 15 minutes. Gawa muna tayo ng sauce mixing 4 tablespoons water, 4 tablespoons sugar, 2 tablespoons soy sauce and then salt and pepper. Ayan, luto na at ready ang ating chicken asado siopao.